Hey there, welcome back to another voltage modular tutorial. And in today's video, we're here to talk about syncing up voltage modular within your DAW, which is a pretty important thing to know about. Knowing how to sync voltage modular within your DAW or host application allows you to sync up your arpeggiators, sync up your sequencers, sync up different modulations, or even create sequenced effects and synced effects within voltage to use on audio, which is very, very powerful. For more tips and tricks for Voltage Modular, be sure to subscribe to the channel down below, and if you have a question or a request for a future video, let us know down in the comments. Here, I've got a quick sequence patch I made with a bunch of different tracks, some side chaining, and a bunch of modulation happening, and this is all synced up to my DAW. So, when I hit play, we should see this play. When I hit stop, it should stop. And when I hit play again, it should reset. And also, if I change the tempo, this should change tempo as well. Let's try it out. <laughs> Very cool, let's change the tempo down to maybe 110 and play it again. If you'd like to download this patch to play with yourself, you can find a link to this patch down in the description. Voltage Modular makes it really easy to sync up your patches because all you need is this module here, which is the Sync Divider, which allows us to sync up things to our DAW and then subdivide it based on a note value, including triplets and dotted notes. In the I.O. panel up here, you'll see this Transport section, which has a Sync Out, and we see the Sync Divider has a Sync In. So if we take the Sync Out to the Sync In, we now have a clock running, and we can take the clock output and feed that into any device like the 8-step sequencer, the drum sequencer, the stereo delay, arpeggiator, or any other module that offers a clock input. Then we just need to make sure it's set to external mode to receive this external clock. We can set our subdivision, and away we go with everything being synced up. Now the question is, how do we get this to start and stop at the right times? To do that, we'll utilize the other jacks in the transport panel here. We see this 8-step sequencer has a start and stop, which we can hook up with the play and stop jacks respectively. One final important thing to know about is how to reset everything and make sure it starts over at step 1 once we stop something and then play it again. To do that, we can use this play jack once more and feed that into the reset input of anything that accepts the reset. That way, when we play, and if we stop here, we'll see it's on six and play again, it's gonna start everything over. One final cool thing to know about is the play gate output. Now what this does is it feeds out a gate as long as your DAW is playing. So if we take the play gate here and feed that into an oscilloscope, we'll see that nothing is happening right now. But as soon as we hit play, we've got a gate open. And if we stop it, the gate closes, allowing us to create something that's only happening when the playhead is active in the DAW. And that wraps everything up for this video, so thanks for watching and I hope it was helpful. For more information on Voltage Modular or to pick it up for yourself, you can head over to cherryaudio.com.